Hello guys, how are you today? I am back here on my little farm. We've got a few things we need to plant. Not, well, actually we probably have a lot of things we have to plant. I'm just not going to be doing them all, let's put it that way. Uh, I will get at least one of the crops in because I do have a lot. I haven't been doing any of the questing at all lately and that's feeling like oops. Oopsie doopsie. I mean, at some point, you know, you need stuff, right? Or you, you know, I don't, who am I kidding? But it makes me feel better. So just, we, it is what it is. So we actually need a fair number of those, a bunch of agave, which I think is time now, cauliflower. Oh, I got just enough of those. What else do we have? Ooh, we needed 250 of these. These can be planted winter or fall. That could be winter or summer. And how many, how many grapes did I need? Sometimes I'm just looking to, oh, 280, okay, let's plant the grapes. Sometimes I'm just looking to see, you know, if it's, if it's something that you can only plant in one season. Okay, back up. I'm sitting here, my brain is melting. I swear to God, guys, it's 38 here today. And that means upstairs where I do not have an air conditioner installed, it's in the mid to high 40s in my recording room and I am melting. I know I keep talking about the heat, but today it, it is supposed to cool off to a mere, oh, I don't know, 28 tomorrow, <laughs> which will feel really nice after today, but man, it's hot. I struggles. But what I try to do, and I see I have three or four different plants and they're, you know, in the hundreds. So I know I've got, you know, I've got some planting to get done sort of thing. I often check the, uh, you know, what seasons I can plant them in. And if I've got something that's only plantable this season, and I've got something else that I could plant next season, or something you can plant any old season, then I, you know, I'll, I'll make decisions based on that, on trying to... Um, you know, get done what I can only get done right now. So I have to wait another hour, or in my case, what could be days before I get back to doing it. So is a thing. And we'll get this little section in, and then we'll check our numbers. I know we don't have enough yet, but we'll just see. Oh, we've got a bunch of harvesting. Maybe that other new field I put in is free. I don't, I don't know if it is or not, but we'll go check. And then we'll go work on our sailing through history part of our fairgrounds. We're going to make it educational for the kids. I think that's good. What am I planting? I am planting grapes. Oh, I've got way too many. Oh, wait, lovely. Agave is 250. You know what? I'm thinking maybe I should just go ahead and get this done. To do do. So how are you guys doing? And every time I say something like, how are you guys doing? I, anybody else hear Joey from Friends doing the how you doing thing in your head? I, I'm, is it just me? <laughs> I'm so ashamed. So my daughter started learning Italian. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I've been saying for years that I really want to learn a language. I, I love Russian. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I used to be able to read in Russian, so that seems like a you know, a good choice, right? Let's, let's start with Russian. What the hell? Um, but I, I just don't know at this point, you know, at some point in your life, you start realizing you might not get to do every single solitary thing you'd planned on doing, which is quite disheartening if you allow it to be. And I am choosing for the most part to say, well, too freaking bad. Let's do what we can anyway. Um, I mean, I'd have to, I have a long list of things I wanted to do. I, I'd have to live, I need to just become a vampire. I mean, let's, let's just cut to the chase, okay? Let's quit beating around the bush and let's just go right for it. I need to be immortal. I have so many things I want to do. So many things I want to do. Uh, we need a few more, just a few more. I guess if I'd been smart enough to turn the mods on while here dealing with you guys, I could have, uh... I could have just finished this up in a hurry. I could have just harvested a couple of them and finished up and we'd have been all good. But that's okay. We can do a few of these. We don't need many. See, we're almost done already. Woohoo. 
but she started learning Italian, and I, I've, I, Italian, I think it sounds beautiful. There's no reason for me to want to learn Italian other than I think it sounds beautiful, and that seems like an absolutely fine reason to me. I mean, is there really any better one? I don't think so, Tim. No, let's go for the whole bunch this time. <clears throat> but um, she started working on it, um, and I thought, you know what? It's, I guess it's time, right? It's absolutely time. You need to learn Italian. So with any luck, here in the near future, I will be uh, doing things like... Um, throwing in the odd uh, the odd little um, comment in Italian and then if you you speak Italian or if you're you know somebody who's wanting to learn or someone who knows people who are Italian you can tell me how bad my pronunciation actually is and if I'm trying to tell you let's live our life happy and I say uh, go kick a goat I want you to realize what I probably meant okay and not what I said. So I'm, I'm counting on you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know what? Italian, see, Italy is a place that I am extremely, that's extremely possible I will get to. That probably more than Russia. Um, maybe, possibly more than Russia. I mean, with, with the vaccines coming in and, and hopefully, you know, working on all the various variants that are coming out of all the places with COVID. I mean, I, I hope that, you know, if, if life gets, I don't think life's ever going to be normal again. I think there's always going to be precautions that the smart people take now that we didn't before. And we probably should have. There are parts of the world that have always taken certain precautions and, you know, we were sitting here complacent in our in our world full of computers and riches that make no sense, really. And uh, just taking for granted that we were invincible. And I think now, I think, I think now we know we're not. I hope we realize we're not invincible. We're just people. And there's too many of us kicking around. And hopefully, you know, I think we're always going to be taking precautions we didn't use to. But it is also my high hope that, you know, traveling is going to be a thing again. And I mean, and it, you know, if you're, if you're vaccinated and you've got a car and you're just driving through Europe or something like that, where you can self-isolate most of the time, um, you know, just have food delivered to your hotel or do some camping out in various places or something, I'm sure there's going to be semi-safe ways to continue to get to see the world and Italy's not all that far from not to me anyway from a North American point of view Italy's not that far from Scotland <laughs> and it looks like I'm possibly being able to go back this in a well it'll still be about four months if it won't be till October at the earliest because of vaccination schedules but and of course, if we're in the middle of a massive lockdown at that point, I won't be going in either. But, you know, the hope is there now. It, it looks like we're getting back on track with life, right? I mean, I've still got the flat over there. I'm still paying bills over there. I've got, I've got contracts and leases that I actually can't get out of unless you're in the country. It's just, it's written right in it. Like you, you can't, um, you, you have to be in the, you know, I agreed to that. And I suppose I could be some sort of, deadbeat that leaves their bills behind but that's no I'll pay for the rest of my freaking life first but I'll have some pride when I die god self-respect matters yo <laughs> self-respect matters and I said yo on purpose <clears throat> it's not the way I talk <laughs> oh well it's the thing Anyway, it's night time again, but we, you know what? Maybe getting to see what the carnival looks like at night is not going to be a bad idea anyway, right? It seems like a good thing. Oh, man, I'm hot. <sighs> oh, we have, we have hungry bunnies. It must be bunnies. 
And see, I, th I hear the word bunnies, and I think of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And now for the rest of my life, Critter, every time I think bunnies, and I think of that, now I think of you. It's just, it's right there. It's in my head. It's like every time now. I walk, I go by the rabbits, and I think of you. <laughs> you have become a permanent fixture in my life. That's kind of fun. I guess we never know, do we, what's going to change and affect other people. It's kind of wild. Oh, my good Lord. Well, I do have an air conditioner here, and I, I'll be honest, I don't even know how I'm going to manage to cover the cost of running it, but I don't know if I have a choice. This is getting me ill. It's hot. And, of course, when I stream, you know, you've got lights you have to turn on. I mean, I suppose I could stream without a camera, but most people don't like that these days. Ooh, I mean, my regulars, you know, the, the people that you're used to having around are, will be fine. I mean, they're, they're okay, but as first impressions go, when you have new people wandering in and out of the channel, it's not a good, I don't think it's a good idea anymore. I know there, there are people who don't use it, and I'm sure you can build lots of great, big, wonderful channels, and I'm sure there's lots of them. But when people are used to it and expect to see it, and then it's not there, it's different. But Okay. I don't think this is going to be very long. I've already had to shower today. And I am feeling like I haven't showered in a month already. So, let's go looky around. So, Dawn is Dawn morning. He has broken like the first morning. But we can kind of get an idea of what it would look like. It still feels a little plain right through here. Just looking down there, we got lights, we got movement, and I love all that. But it doesn't feel busy enough for a carnival. Does that make sense? Carnivals have things going on, right? They just, there's stuff happening. There's music and lights, and it's crowded and... It just feels like we're not there yet. Somehow. Not, you know what, I don't think right in the middle of the walkway is a good idea, but we could. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? Come on. And now move. Oh, I just can't. I can barely see it. It had moved. It says, I'm trying, you silly woman. Um, do do do. Do do do. Um, boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Back here behind the kids is balloon. I don't. I. I don't want things to be in the way of actually, you know, wandering through the game. I don't. I don't. You know, people come to visit. I don't want them getting stuck on things. That's just annoying. That's not what I'm going for here. But I do feel it needs more stuff. It's not feeling festive enough. You know, tacky and gaudy and horrible. <laughs> And I don't think I'm using these, so. Um, thinking here. Can you smell the smoke? Okay, we'll just, I don't, you know, and I'm thinking about running the path up through here, but you don't see a lot of pathing at the fairs. I mean, you don't. You, I mean, it's big gravel ways that, I don't know. It would add color and it would add more busyness, but I don't know that that, me that necessarily makes it a good idea. Just because you can doesn't mean you should all the time, right? Let's go back to the start and have a wee look down the row again. Now we're walking along and we can smell the good food and we can see people laughing and taking their pictures and yeah, we were going to do some firework thing maybe. That's that's all the stuff. We can decide to go into the tunnel of love, the love boats. 
Love Boat Island. You betcha. And then we look down here. And I mean, it kind of sort of helps. It, it's the color. I mean, the colors and the lights, you know, move. And that's kind of nice. Maybe if we have one running up alongside here, we're single solitary place here. Because I had been thinking, I know we're running the train track along here, but maybe we'll do something like this. And being realistic, <clears throat> it ain't pretty, but it's required. Um, you know, we'll do something like this back at the end of the, you know, the end of the, the, the thing here. We'll put some trees along that way so it's not, you know, you're not looking directly from the Ferris wheel into some poor person waiting in line and dancing up and down and you know how it gets, right? Give them a little bit of privacy. <laughs> and fencing we're going to go with this one and i think yeah the watery stuff will be behind here and again you don't want the kids falling in and you want people to buy tickets let the real reason right yeah i know we think we're telling people we're trying to be nice and take care of the kids and the real reason is if you don't have a ticket you don't get to sneak in we know I know, it's a terrible thing. There it is. And I think, um, what am I looking for? That. We could do this, right? Seems, well, you know what? Rather than that, I think I'm gonna put um, my big, my big pretty tree cast some shade on the situation and around that water um, <clears throat> yeah let's let's add some bits shall we I think we shall just for a little added interest to things there we go and um there's more balloons let's put more balloon balloons not just kites what do we have we've got the box kite we've got a bird of some sort and butterflies and what else is there two butterflies Sock, carp streamers. Is that a thing? Would anybody want one? No, I don't know. Let's just go with balloons. We know balloons are good. We gotta have balloons. And I'm gonna do one more these over there <clears throat> and now I feel like we need a little tickety thing again right we used um what did we use here the mm, something like this right sure buy your souvenir balloons in case the kids got you past the front gate and you did not buy them balloons you terrible terrible parent now you you have an opportunity to right that wrong. Yeah, I know you're glad. I know you're you're thrilled with this situation, and you're going, yeah, I'm so glad you put that there. I know, I know. And for mom and dad, and a picnic table? Nah, the hell with that. I will put a tree. You know what? Let's put a tree. I mean, it doesn't. I, I've been to a lot of fairgrounds where there is not actually a tree anywhere ever and they can feel kind of grim and then you get the ones that you know things are kind of pretty and you've got trees growing here and there and it's like wow this is this is actually kind of pleasant it's not so bad at all 
And I think we can put another bench. Actually, maybe I'll just take and pop a few of these around. Just for, you know, people just needing that break. Your feet are sore. The kids are still calling you all over the place. Or, you, you know, you're waiting for somebody who's on a ride. Or all those sorts of fun things. All right, it's starting to feel a little more lifey. There's some more things going on. Is there enough? Nope. We will put a tree over here so our cellar isn't roasting every minute of the day. I think we're going to have to leave that bit open there for sure. People do have to get in line. They've got to do all the things. So. And here, though, we'll go like this for that ride. And maybe here for that ride, yeah? Is that a thing? Now we know we're, we're ooh, no, that does that weirdness. Okay, so not there. I think it's going to happen here too, isn't it? Unless I take this one and move you there. And now it's gotten very, very weird. Well, this was not my plan. So that goes down fine. That looks great. I guess this one is just going to have to not be there, guys. These two. And do I want to have the turn there or like it what? You know what? I kind of liked it the way it was. I kind of liked it like this. I liked the little the little whoopy bend there. That felt better, didn't it? Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. But we could put, now we've got this ice cream thing way back here. Maybe this one needs to be up here. That's going to feel better. Crowd it up. And another bench back here, just because. Yeah, the stuff that's back in the back of everything, that's that's where you want to be sitting and resting, not uh, you want the, the food stuff up front where you you know people are seeing it as they, they wander. Marketing. This is all about the marketing folks. <laughs> Okay, this is definitely feeling better. Now I'm thinking about, I was wondering about, about this, about putting this here just because we can. No reason other than, look, it's bright and shiny and you're, you know, entering a new section of the, the grounds. I mean, I could put one here too. You can go that, no, maybe this should be, although that's kind of lighting the way to the tunnel of love, isn't it? Oh, I suppose. Okay, then we get through the little things here, the games, and then we get into the ride section of our evening's entertainment. And gets along back to the facilities. <laughs> there we go. We could put these in front of each one so you feel like a star. Maybe not. Because I don't think I'd want to feel like a star right there at that moment in life. I'm thinking, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, that's not the right thing at all, is it? Get some water. Start putting some water in here. And just got to start getting a feel for this. Now, obviously, we're going to have like two lanes of boats. We're going to get on a boat somewhere here. Yeah, we don't have enough room to do what I want to do. This actually, so this is not going to be able to go there. Uh, let's, hello, did I get it? Yeah, do that for me. Because we're going to have to walk in here if we have two lanes, it's going to be going out and coming back. So these these have to be boat lanes. Or how these boats are going to turn around is anybody's freaking guess. But So we would be, what, I guess we'd come back like this. So we can make the turn here, people get on, and then head back out again. I think my physics are going to be somewhat lacking in realism. I'm just saying. 
I, yeah, I think, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that is unfortunate though. Huh. Oh well, we'll just have to pretend. See, that's not right either. They're going to have to be up the center of this, aren't they? To give the boats a turnaround. No, the boats can't turn around. No. Okay, I don't, I can't use these at all. This is just not good, not gonna. It's not gonna, folks. I was thinking about having some place where the, the boats could, um, you know, where you can like step here to get onto the boat. But if I do that, I need to take off this entire row, don't I? I really do. I really do. This can't, uh, this can't be here. I'm afraid I have, oops, mom, I made a boo-boo. Yeah, this is not going to work because, yeah, that's too bad. So we only have two facilities. I mean, we do have, we have more Some, please tell me we've got more somewhere else. Oh my God. I do, right? I mean, I know in the ground, like, ugh. Maybe I'm gonna, I, if I don't have any back at the start, I think I'm going to have to do something about that because this feels like, uh, this feels like a lot of angry people just waiting to happen, doesn't it? Okay, Tree, you're beautiful, I love you. I do not know if you have a home with me just yet, so we're just gonna put you over there for now. It would have been nice to have a tree here, but there's no way to keep a path around this and do that. So, okay, so if we come in with the boat here, and then we do a turn, and then we go around, I think I think that's going to have to be what we do, and it, this will allow me to um, to pull this out a little further, right, where people can be standing and waiting and ready to get on, kind of kind of thing. Get the hiccups. <laughs> did you catch, did you hear that one? I got the hiccups. Sorry about that. Well, that one just looks stupid. Okay, well, that's not a thing. This is not going to be the thing that sits there. That's for sure. Is there anything else we could put there that's watery-ish and we're looking nice sitting there? I mean, probably not. But this is where we get our tickets. Or maybe that's what I need, is a little ticket booth right there, yeah? I think, yeah. I think maybe so. Um, I'm not using these. I'm using these others. Waketh up, young woman. Young, got it, don't I wish? Okay, here we go. So... So the, the queen of the sea, the princess of the sea greets you and says, What is your joy today, my lord? Do you want to visit Treasure Island? Or would you like to journey through the, the sail? Or would you like to sail through history? That's the one, sailing through history. So we need boat. Let's start finding boats. What are we going to use? We're using all of them. I'm using everything. Um, so you can pick your boat, right? And I'm going to want this somewhere just because it's big and shiny and watery and it looks cool so this will be this is all going to be a big old pond out here um and i'm gonna you know what we'll put we'll put the, is there rocks anywhere here <sighs> Not really. i mean there's rocks here right where it was there's that rock i'm just you know trying to figure out can we pretend that that's nah, not a good place for it though you know that the, the the house lighthouse is here to keep you from you know sailing into the rocks there or something and I, we don't when you want a rocky bit stuck up in the way of everything can you find one no not even now i could do wait but wait i mean i could do something like this a series of standing stones is that why that can be so much fun sometimes if you get it just right woohoo look at this uh-huh you try that one on purpose look at this king of the freaking mountain here folks 
You saw it here. <laughs> Actually, I think this <laughs> totally deserves. <coughs> oh, yeah. I am king of this mountain. You betcha. Smile. Look over here, sweetie. Look at me. There's my girl. Here you go. That's epic. You betcha. Yeah, that one's harder for her. You can't see her so well because of all the stuff behind her. But And you have to be able to see where she is or there's no fun. Yeah, see, you gotta be able to see her. There we go. Wave. That's my girl. There you go. If you catch him just right, it's just, you know, it's just a little moment of fun. So, uh, water. Water, water everywhere. Now, this is going to have to come out here. Do we just go right past this? I mean, that's definitely going to be what's easiest, but... Is easy the only thing that matters in life? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, we'll get the boats in and we'll see. We'll just keep that in mind. Is we'll just you know put a little bit of a danger spot there. Ooh, be careful with the waters on this one, folks. You betcha. Okay, so Viking boat <coughs> is good boat. Yeah, I guess I got a couple sitting over here I could pick up and use, couldn't I? Just cause. Uh, you can come with me. You're a little short one, so we'll keep you here as the one to the one that's uh, getting ready to load up. And then this one will be the boat coming in. Is that coming in? Yep, facing the right way. And then you gotta have, I wanna ride on the yellow submarine, mommy. Cause it is so cute. Uh, okay, so we have what? What do we have? Boats. We have that one. We have one. I mean, we can always do more, but we have one. I just realized the time. I am going to shut up. We will come back. we got to start. We have an idea, and we will come back and finish off in the next episode or two or three the uh, Sailing Through History, part of our county fairgrounds. Till I see you next time, guys. Let's live our lives happy and try to build them beautiful. Bye-bye.